Setting spacing before or after a paragraph. You might want to automatically increase or decrease the amount of space before or after a paragraph so that the document looks consistent and flows easily. This is especially important when typing a thesis. The secret is not to format the document beforehand so that the result is consistent. Tip. Remember that this option replaces a certain point size of space either before or after each paragraph marker. Every time you press the Enter key after a heading or a paragraph of text, Word automatically adds a certain amount of space either before or after the new paragraph. The amount of space it inserts is controlled by the space before or space after settings. Follow these easy steps to set the spacing. 1. Highlight the paragraphs you want to apply the spacing to. 2. To apply or remove the spacing, use the Line and Paragraph Spacing drop-down icon. Select the desired option at the bottom of the list. Don't add spaces between paragraphs of the same style. 3. To control the amount of space you would like either in front of or after a paragraph, go to the Paragraph dialog box. Right-click on the selected text and choose Paragraph or 4. The Paragraph Formatting dialog opens. 5. In the Spacing section, adjust the Paragraph Spacing options as desired by clicking with the mouse pointer on the up arrow next to the Before option. In the case of the preceding example, we used 6 PT before the paragraphs. 6. Add 6 PT of blank space to the after field. 7. Click on OK to save the change. Note the changes. If styles have been applied throughout a document when formatting, it is important not to add a space between paragraphs of the same style. To explain further, if I applied 18 PT of spacing, after each paragraph, to the entire document, but do not wish to add any extra space after all the main headings, which I've used the Heading 1 style for. Then, this option comes in handy. Adding a checkmark to this option prevents space from being added after all the Heading 1 styles in the document. Adjusting the line spacing. To set the line spacing, try one of the following methods. 1. Click on the paragraph that you would like to set the line spacing for. 2. Click on the Paragraph Dialog Launcher to the right of the Paragraph Group. 3. Locate the Line Spacing drop-down list to select the desired spacing. Tip. Alternatively, you can either press Ctrl plus 5 on your keyboard to set the line spacing to 1.5 lines, Ctrl plus 2 for double line spacing, or Ctrl plus 1 to return it to single line spacing. You could also use the line spacing icon in the formatting toolbar to change the line spacing, creating a new style. Word 2019 also offers styles, which are a named set of formatting conditions to help you create a consistent-looking document, which is especially useful for documents with more than one page. Instead of having to apply multiple attributes, such as the color, size, font, spacing, and alignment, separately on each part of your document, Word offers predefined collections of attributes that can be quickly applied to parts of your document. The existing styles in the Word 2019 environment are located under the Home tab. Title, Heading 1, Heading 2, and Heading 3 are the most popular options. You will also see the Normal style in the Styles drop-down list. 1. Select some text in the document and format the text, choosing the formats of your choice. For example, underline dark blue color, size 12, and the courgette font type. 2. With your selected text still highlighted, click on the drop-down arrow of the Styles group and select Create a Style 3. A dialog box will appear asking you to name the style 4. Click on Modify to access more options relating to the style. 5. Click OK to save the style to the Gallery 6. The new style is now visible in the Styles group and you can apply it to other headings or text throughout your document. Modifying a Style at some stage, you may need to update a style, such as with a different font attribute. There are a few ways to do this. We will cover the most efficient method here. 1. Select the text in the document that already has the style applied to it. 2. Make the formatting changes to the text. 3. With the text still selected, right-click on the existing style name in the Styles group. 4. Click on Update Reference Style to Match Selection. Reference Style is the name that we chose for the style earlier. 5. The style is updated to include the changes. The beauty of this tool is that any text that has the old style applied to it in the document will update automatically.